Hey guys, welcome back. A uh, quick update on Sia Coin. I know a few of you guys in the comments were asking a couple of questions whether you should hold or not. Well, I'll get into full details regarding that. Um, sorry, I've been away. Please like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to see like a landscape, if you want to see a landscape view instead of a portrayal, please hit a like on the please hit a like on the video it will really help it'll really help me understand whether what what's the community wanting really uh i couldn't i couldn't post because i was having a couple of things happening up in the family and there's few things happening in my personal life so because of that i was not able to post but anyway let's just get straight into the chart sorry if i sound a little nervous because lots is going on in my head it's just, it's really stressful at the moment. But anyway, um, so yeah, as you can see before we were over here, this is like the demand zone that I drawn for you before. That was say on the 12th of Feb that we pushed all the way up, all the way up to 2.027. And then we fell back down over here. Now the market is seeming very bullish, okay? Bitcoin has gone very, very high. So right now I have a feeling, it, this is not financial advice, none of it is financial advice, okay? So I have a feeling right now that this might dip a little bit more. And if we do stabilize over here in this demand box, then well and good, we will definitely shoot up to the top. But if you see on the four hour chart, the stock RSI is not looking very good. We are already too high. Let's go on to the 8 hour. The 8 hour is definitely show, being, showing some promising signs as we bottomed out over here and looks like we're going to go back up. Consolidation is always a very, very good thing. It tells you a lot about the market as well. And on the daily, we are looking amazing. We're looking amazing. But though we are moving this way, the market already looks like it's going... Oh, sorry about that. The market already looks like it's going sideways. So just hang in there. It should be a couple of more days that we'll see something like this. But if Bitcoin says goes to close to seventy thousand dollars, maybe sixty-five to seventy thousand dollars, I'm sure we are going to break above this point because that's a lot of push from Bitcoin. The market always follows where the big daddy goes. So keep that in mind, okay? Let's get straight into some technicals as well. Okay. For now, guys, I'm just doing this way, so please uh, just have my back here. I'm trying my level best for you guys. Um, well, there's no signs of a bull flag or anything like that. We are definitely coming down. Let's go to the 8 hour. We're seeing a sideways consolidation so far, 4 hours. Yeah. See some resistance over here at around 0. 870 which we had a bit before as well we had a bit before you can see over here around 0 0.889 and then again we came back down so there's clearly some resistance there's some sellers sitting right over here at 0 0.892 if we break above this then definitely we are pushing higher there's no sign of any Resistant line over here, but let me see if I can draw something Something for you guys, maybe it's ever so slight So far so good Not much Okay, if we do break above these points, we definitely be pushing. We need to break above this for sure, 0 0.957. If we push above that, we are definitely heading to the next demand box, which is roughly touching around 1.111 and 1.197. So stay safe. Uh, answering some of your questions, whether you've uh, bought really high, like say, Look, 
this is not financial advice, whatever, okay? If it was me, and if say if I bought up here, like say I put $10 in, just for example, if I put $10 in out here, and suddenly it broke down, I won't sell. I know I'm on loss. I'm only putting in what I'm willing to lose. Remember this, guys. You only put in what you're willing to lose. Never put in what you're not willing to lose. Because if you put in a huge amount and then regret, it doesn't work like that. You put in what you're willing to lose. Okay? And if you bought up and thought it's going to skyrocket from there, well, you're clearly wrong. Try to follow the stats that I'm giving you. If you bought up and you're in loss, if you bought up literally over here, do not sell. Because if it say if, if you sell right now and if it moves back up, you've lost all your money. Okay, that's pretty that's like almost like common sense now. So just wait it out, wait it out, wait until it comes back up. If you've bought literally out here once again, if I if it was me and I bought over here and again if it's come down. I'm going to wait it out. I never sell in loss. Wait it out. Wait the storm out. It will definitely pass. Bitcoin is showing good signs that it's going up. Definitely the storm will pass. Wait it out. Do not sell. Well, at least it's not financial advice. Be safe. Keep your guns at it. But be safe. Do not put in what you're not willing to lose. Okay? And do not sell on loss. Do not sell on loss. At least I would never sell on loss. Not financial advice once again, guys. Okay, see you in the next one. Peace.